If you are going to be scanning something to turn into Canvas, what you need to do first is go to the Canvas Student app. And so I have the Canvas Student app on my phone. It looks like this down here for student. And the first time you use it and you sign in, it's going to ask you for your school. You are going to type in Sequoia Union High School District, and you'll click on that. And then you're going to sign in with your username and password. And here I am only in one course in my sample student course. Um, it's listed here for biology. I'm good to go. I just need to be signed in to the Canvas app on my phone. You'll find the Canvas student app in your cell phone's store, whether it's an Android or an Apple phone, to download for free. The next thing that you need to do is you need to get Adobe Scan. And Adobe Scan is a different app that is free that you can download. You can see it up at the top of my screen. And what I'm going to do is click on Adobe Scan. And it asks me to um, scan a device. So down at the bottom of my phone, I'm going to click on the blue button. And it's looking for a document. And this is from a notebook that I have. I get this cord out of the way um, and I'm going to retake it. So I'm going to try and line up those four blue dots into the corner and hold still. And then it should look OK. You could always edit if you need to to get it to fit a little bit better. And then I'm going to um, say continue if I need to take multiple pages of information. I could always retake if I need to. I'm just going to click continue because I'm done. And again, I could get another one here if I needed to. But since I'm done, I am going to just click on the button at the bottom right. And now I can see my scan. I can change the name of it and I can give it the name of the title. I'm just going to call this a sample and I'm going to say OK. And then up at the top right, I'm going to choose save PDF. And now it is in my Adobe Scan, and I can see I have my sample here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Share button, which is at the top to the right of my scan. And I'm going to share a copy. When I share a copy, I have a list. This is on an iPhone. I have a list of different apps that are located here and I do not see Canvas Student. If I click on More, I can see Suggestions, and I have a bunch of apps, but I have the Canvas Student app down here. Now, if I don't see Canvas Student app, I can click Edit, and I just need to make sure that I turn that on. So I made it so it's green. Then I'm going to say Done, and then Done again. And now when I go to more, I can actually click on student. And it allows me to add in any comments that I would like on my Canvas assignment. But then I need to click course and choose the course that I'm turning it into. And then it has assignment. And so I'm going to click on assignment. And I'm going to choose the assignment that this scan goes with, which is the second one, upload a PDF sample assignment. And again, I can type in any comments that I might want. And I'm going to press Submit. So now I didn't have to even go to the Canvas app to turn it in. You might want to go to the Canvas app just to confirm that you actually did turn in this assignment. So I'm going to go to Grades. And where it has that assignment, update a PDF sample assignment, you will see that it says in green underneath that it's submitted. If I click on that link, I can confirm it gives a um, it gives the information about the submission if I click submission and rubric. And I can see down at the bottom that there's one file and I can see that it actually did submit.